Three days after people. Around the globe, dogs are starving for both food and attention. This Labrador retriever had a special bond with his human companion. He's a highly trained seeing eye or guide dog who's accustomed to spending 24 hours a day by his owner's side. With no human around, a typical guide dog is probably going to start to get a little stressed out, wondering where their person is. They're probably going to scratch at the door. They may bark a little bit. Very likely, they're going to start to chew on something to relieve anxiety. That's how dogs relieve stress. Labradors were often used as guide dogs because of their non-aggressive, obedient nature. The dog's behavior has been shaped by a year and a half of intensive instruction. But the absence of his master is putting his food avoidance training to the test. They've been taught not to go into the cupboards and never, never to get into human food unless it's specifically handed to them. I don't think they will allow themselves to starve to death, but it might be several days before they indulge in, you know, household treats and whatnot. After three days, the guide dog's willpower is gone. And once the food in the house runs out, this canine has an advantage over others in the neighborhood. He's the only one that has ever seen the inside of a grocery store and knows the way by heart. Ten days after people. After more than a week of waiting for his master to return, this guide dog ventures out of the house. More than other dogs, he is accustomed to routine and heads for a place where he thinks he'll find people and knows he'll find food. If there was a local coffee shop that they frequented or a local grocery store that they went to on a regular basis, the dog would probably start looking for the person in those areas. Your typical blind person with a guide dog is going to go to the same grocery store day after day after day, and the dog would be habituated to those places. But with everything in the store rotting, has he arrived too late? Most dogs have hearty stomachs, which secrete hydrochloric acid many times stronger than humans. The acid kills most of the bacteria, including pathogens like salmonella on raw meat. While most dogs might chase after the rats, the guide dog steers clear. Guide dogs in particular are trained to avoid dogs, cats, anything else. They're trained to ignore those things and tune those things out and do their job. If it were to encounter strange animals, more than likely it would try to just avoid those animals. The grocery store will now be this dog's lifeline. But how long will this free lunch last? Three years after people, the former guide dog has beaten the odds. He's relocated to a nearby park but in a sad twist of fate, his several thousand hours of training now hinder his instincts to hunt. As the leftovers of human society become scarce, scavenging is no longer an option. The lab, and guide dogs in particular, they're not the most agile. They're not going to be the best breed out there for catching actual live prey. A large percentage of guide dogs and Highly trained dogs are going to die of starvation. They're not going to be able to find enough to survive. <laughs>